Mean stock buying spree is back! A perfect time to celebrate and dip your fried chicken into a glass of champagne. Of course, this is nothing compared to rallies three years ago. But this is not what this video is about. This video is about the recent capital raise that the company completed. What does it mean for GameStop and what can Ryan Coin do with that much cash? Let's get started. The company sold 45 million shares and got 933 million in return in May. Thanks, Roaring Kitty! If we compare this recent capital raise to that in 2021, it was worse and more dilutive. Split adjusted, GameStop had to sell only 34 million shares to raise almost 1.7 billion in 2021. That's $49 a pop, compared to $21 a share more recently. GameStop has $2.1 billion in cash and short-term securities if we add back the recent stock issues. What on earth a gaming retail company that is in decline can do with that much cash? To answer this question, we must understand Ryan Cohen and his motives. Being one of the largest shareholders, the CEO and board chair, Ryan Cohen can do actually many things. GameStop as a GameStop has seen its fortunes decline. Consumers do not buy video games that often at shopping malls. Instead, they download them directly online, foregoing GameStop altogether. The company has a little over 4,000 stores worldwide. That's a big drop from over 7,000 stores 8 years ago. The same thing happened to its revenues and operating income. GameStop has not seen positive earnings since 2018 as it has racked large losses. Now enter Ryan Cohen, a self-made entrepreneur and investor. In 2020, Cohen disclosed a 10% stake in GameStop, which stands at 12% today. Ryan is known as the founder of Chewy, a successful online pet store. It was sold to PetSmart for $3.3 billion in 2017. After going on a firing hiring spree, Cohen brought many executives from Amazon and Chewy. Moreover, he downsized GameStop's board of directors from 13 to 5 members. Four of them, including Cohen, used to work at Chewy. Such a closely knit board makes Cohen's turnaround job easier, but still nevertheless difficult. In his 2020 letter to GameStop board of directors, Cohen mentioned his plans for a new GameStop. He saw it as a technology company that delights gamers and delivers exceptional digital experiences. He goes on to say that GameStop must diminish its physical footprint. Instead, it should prioritize a technology-driven business that excels in the gaming and digital experience worlds. Later, Coin elaborates that the unprofitable operations in Europe and Australia must be shot. He envisioned that the company can use cash flow savings to build a powerful e-commerce platform that provides competitive pricing, broad gaming selection, fast shipping, and so on. Rightfully, Coin pointed out that it's a shame that GameStop is slowly dying in the world where the gaming market is actually growing. As we see, the number of stores got lower since Coin took over by almost 20%, but Australia and Europe stores are still open. It will take some time for GameStop to downsize its physical footprint, given that most of its stores are under non-cancellable leases that come along with hefty cancellation fees. Given that the average lease term is about 4 years, Mr. Cohen will likely get most of his downsizing benefit pretty soon. Unfortunately, the revenues got smaller, but to be fair, operating losses narrowed, which is a positive sign. But that aside, there has been really no meaningful updates to turnaround plans. You won't hear coins speak at earnings calls, which can last less than 10 minutes. No questions are taken from analysts or investors either. So what can Coin do with $2.1 billion in cash? The first obvious thing that comes to mind is to plow it back into gaming business and make it better. After the real estate rationalization is over, the most difficult part comes in, and that is to come up with meaningful growth initiatives. That's of course a tough going with online shift and competition from big players. GameStop must do something revolutionary and different. Three years has gone by since Coin took over, and we yet to hear from him on that. The other thing that Coin most definitely will do with this cash is investing. In December of 2023, the board of directors adopted a new investment plan. Under this plan, Coin is free to invest cash in equity, private securities, and so on. So GameStop is free to transform itself from a gaming retailer into a mm, Berkshire Hathaway? In fact, what GameStop can do is to sell high and buy low when its own stock price declines. In other words, Coin can do opportunistic share buybacks with a raised money. GameStop can also buy publicly traded stocks or do acquisitions 
acquisitions of other companies. But the reality is that it will be a completely different line of business for GameStop. Of course, Cohen could be the next Warren Buffett. His track record with Chewy and Bad Buff and Beyond stands strong, so who knows? On a net cash basis alone, GameStop is worth roughly $4 a share. I guess that is the lowest it can go. This of course assumes that the cash pile will not be squandered. So far, we do not know where GameStop profit margins will stabilize. Suppose that GameStop stops bleeding and carries margins and returns it had back in 2015 or 2016. It can probably fetch a price-to-sales ratio of about 0.5, like something similar to what Best Buy has today. Compare this price to sales ratio of 1.1 it has today. Overall, I think retail investors are putting a lot of trust in Ryan Cohen by paying 40, 30, or even 20 dollars a share and buying into company's bleak looking future. GameStop to the moon or Diamond Hands and Apes Together Strong all sounds good, but nobody cancelled out the laws of valuation gravity. The meme saga to be continued. I'm your host, Andrei Blokhin. Subscribe to my channel.